Hey, Dr. Shakib here from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine Posture and Chiropractic Clinic. Let's talk about the things you should not be doing at the gym, so stay tuned. <laughs> So you go to the gym, that's your thing, by all means go for it. But there are so many things people do at the gym that are absolutely downright stupid. And I use the word stupid. My kids used to say the S word. So let's talk about some very basic facts, guys. This part of you is to stabilize. Stabilize. These are meant to move. So if you're, let's say you're doing your shoulder exercises, let's come over here and let's grab, let's just grab these two as an, let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. This is not what you're gonna do at the gym, but I'm trying to show you something. If you're trying to do, let's say your biceps, don't be doing, this you want to stabilize this this rectangle needs to stay rectangular stabilize it by not arching your back your top part of your back sticking your chest out it needs to be neutral if you do this you're hyper working the muscles in the back if you do this, it's your pecs that are overworking. So they need to be neutral. That means the front and back need to be, front and back muscles, agonist, antagonist muscles, they need to be working equal to each other, not one more than the other, right? So the, you keep the torso, and when I say torso, I mean from the neck, the top of the neck, until the hip line, the hip here where your sacrum is. You need to keep that in a neutral position while you're doing this or while you're doing that. That means you don't do, see that? I'm arching my back or I'm leaning forward to do this. Not the same thing. It's gonna damage things and it's gonna create the wrong patterns of movement which are now being reinforced by doing the exercise incorrectly. So even when you're not you're working out, you're still having the wrong patterns of movement. So don't do that. The other thing is abdominal crunches. I've done a whole video on why I don't like abdominal crunches. It's not working out your lower ab. I have patients that, you know, I have them do a little tuck under, which is just this part of your uh, lower ab engaging and everything from top here from the very top of the abdominal rectus abdominis this band of muscles right here they start when they need to just do that they start contracting all the way from here or they collapse their arch and the 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 torso trying to mechanically position themselves to get the muscle engaged so don't do abdominal crunches when you're using doing squats you want a hip hinge. Hip hinging is this movement versus that movement. That's a waist movement versus hip hinging. Practice that. Most of us have lost the ability to connect to the hip joint and we don't hip hinge. We're constantly using our lower ab, the waist area. We're going right into the waist area instead of hip area. Anyway, I had to do this one because I see people uh, do these things all the time. Come and turn around this way. Let me just do the dumbbell here. One of the things I see people do at the gym, not that I go to the gym, I just watch videos, is they do things like what am I doing? Look at my upper trap. I didn't keep the rectangle, rectangle. I'm swinging things. What the heck? What muscle is that? If you're swinging, that means you're tired. Listen to your body. It's okay to go down on the weight. If you start compromising the movements, 
just because you had in your mind three sets of 12 that you want to do, you will get three sets of 12s, but you re-emphasize the wrong patterns of movement. So be mindful of what you're doing, please. If you have any questions, make sure you contact me. All the methods of contact are in the description box. And thanks for watching. Take care.